The district you vote in could change in the next election. Even though census delays pushed back the process, state legislators have now selected four Iowans to be on the temporary advisory commission for redistricting in our state. Local 5's Eva Anderson explains how it works. It's important that each congressional and legislative district is represented equally in the next election. And the Legislative Services Agency, which is nonpartisan, is in charge of drawing up those new district lines to make sure they take into account population and not party, so they don't tip the scales in favor of one party. Iowa law provides that when we draw plans that we do not take into account any political information. So no incumbent addresses, political party registrations, or election results. And so all we look at in drawing plans is population. But once that's all drawn up, it doesn't go into effect without approval. A commission has to make sure it's fair. So here's what that process looks like. Districts should be equal in population. Each decade, census data shows the population shifts, so districts aren't equal anymore. That means district lines need to be redrawn to balance it all out. The Legislative Services Agency, a nonpartisan group, draws up those maps, but it all has to be approved. To make that happen, the majority party of the state legislature and the minority party each appoint two people to an advisory commission. This year, it's... Be dreaded to hear Chris Hagenow. David Roderer and Ian Russell. Those four will select a fifth person to chair the commission. The commission will then take a look at the plan and conduct public hearings on it and then release a report to the state legislature who will vote on it. But here's the thing, the census data that they base that plan on typically gets released in February, but because of COVID-19, it all got shifted and they're expecting it in September, which means that when it comes to a vote, they might have to call a special legislative session. In Des Moines, Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, we are Iowa.